That's okay, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, I'm the star of the show. Welcome to this show. I'm the star. What is this? Whoa, whoa, what is this? Whoa, what is this? I'm the star of the show. Wait, no, I'm the best man. That's me. Hi, welcome. I'm the star of the show. Harley doesn't know because I'm the best man. Hold on, pause the video real quick. I'm going to blow my nose. Oh, see? I'm the best man. <laughs> oh, gosh. Can I... Can, that Here was it. Are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. I did them all already. I literally did all the new features already. We did... All of them in the last video. So if you guys missed that, go check out the link in the description below. The only thing I haven't done is this exit over here. The hole is probably my favorite because it freaked me out, but I'm not going to lie. I like this museum a lot, and I hope there's more to it. I hope the game doesn't end here because I feel like I have that same feeling I do when I go to a museum in real life. I go to it, I look at everything, and right before I leave, I just feel sad because I've seen everything already, and I was really enjoying it. Uh, so I've had a great experience with this side DLC, though. Like, at first, All it was right. kind of joking and funny, to? but I'm Ready really feeling it now? now. I don't even know why. It's just it's so different. It freaked me out a couple times. It's just really cool. It's been pretty long, too. This has been, been one of the longer Let's Plays I've done, video-wise, in quite some time. It's probably not getting a lot of views, but I'm enjoying myself. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Yay. Hey, oh. How do I get down there? Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Wait, I... Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2.0. 2. <sighs> I like the first one Who better. Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they wouldn't stand on their own. They would need the structure in the gameplay I'm still of the original. Holding this damn bucket. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course, with respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. This game is so aware of itself, it blows my mind. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the Stanley Parable Part 2. And I've been waiting for this one. I love Part 1 so much that I just can't wait to die. This is... What if I quit? Well, I don't want to press it, but would it actually... Crows? I want to know. I want to know. I'm not going to do it, but I wonder. If I click quit, what would have happened? I, wa I wonder if it would have just thrown me a desktop or not. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company I'm in a big building. I'm gonna assume it's a normal video. Imagine if that was it. That's how the DLC ended. That was it. That was the DLC. Imagine it. Oh no! Wait, my fair balloons are All here. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the I meeting the room. Ones, Perhaps bro. he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked. He couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. There's my bucket. Give my bucket back. I, mi I actually Stanley missed picked it. Up now. the bucket.
Oh, it's not here anymore. I love this. It's pretty linear, and I feel like I'm only going to play this side content once because it doesn't have any more options to go, but I love it. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Well, you know what? Since we entered the door on our left on our very first episode of this, and it's been going on for so long, let's go to the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. I couldn't agree more. This is my place. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. It's a... It's a pretty smart bucket. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. I mean, is it going to have the same ending? Because the ending to this is kind of lame. I don't really want it to have the same ending. Uh, should I have went this way? I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to go back and play it if you guys really feel this. Let's play. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. Oh. Oh. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans Ooh, want from I a did sequel. Love the they broom want more closet. of their favorite Ooh. jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. We went yes, in I here know in the first I'm the one video. who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the Adventure Line? We could make the Adventure Line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. I want to I want to keep my bucket. I, I, I want to keep my bucket. I've grown quite attached to this bucket. Wee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley's Am I addicted playing to Portal 2? <laughs> 3? It's, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. This is the tallest friggin' room I've ever seen. Walking in here and looking up like, uh, who's gonna replace that light bulb? Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. W wait. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Oh. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the Bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Bucket, I will end this video. Now listen to me. If I have It's to. crucial that you give it the Bucket. I don't know what the Bucket Destroyer will do if it can't destroy your Bucket. Destroying Buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character oh. with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? 
Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? The Certainly hole. not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now. The fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... I crushed myself before I crushed this bucket. Bucket for life.